Okay, folks, so nice and simple. Um, I've got 500 gram of minced beef. I've got some tin of chopped tomatoes there. I've got a chili con carne seasoning mix. Um, that's out of Aldi. I've got some kidney beans, sweet corn, onion. I've obviously got some basmati rice. Um, this will be going in a steamer in the microwave. I will show you that. And I'm also going to be adding some smoked paprika. Now, I've got kind of weird forks over tonight. So, um, the cayenne pepper and the crushed chilies. You can add, if you want it, a nice kick, nice and spicy. However, they don't like it that way. So, I'm omitting them to. But the rest of these is your ingredients. Uh, nice and simple, should be delicious. Let's get cooking. Okay gang, so I'm gonna go into the pan now with our minced meat. Uh, I have warmed this pan up slightly just to get it going. Uh, you've noticed I haven't put any oil in. Uh, the reason for that is there's gonna be enough fat that comes out of this. It is 5% less fat. Um, so there won't be too much, but there'll just be enough to cook out the meat, saute the onions, and kind of instill that extra little flavour that we like with the chilli. So I'm going to brown this off, and I will come back to you in a second. See you in a bit. Okay folks, so this is browned off nicely now in the pan. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to soften, saute the onions. Um, and the onions is just going to impart that lovely flavour with that little bit of fat. So... Okay, my little rumble still skins. Um, so the mince is now browned off and all I'm going to do, I'm just going to move it to one side and I'm just going to saute the onions. Um, nice and simple, just keeps this all one dish, less washing up, which I'm sure you will all appreciate. Um, unless if you've got a dishwasher. I hate my dishwasher, can't stand it. Um, but all I'm going to do now is just sweat these onions down. Soften them up, saute them. It's going to take about three, three and a half minutes. Um, so yeah, I'll bring you back once they're done and we'll give it a right royal mix up. Okay guys, so the onions are nicely sweated there, as you can see I've already mixed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with our tomatoes. Lovely tomatoes. Then we're going to go in with our kidney beans. And we're going to finish it off with our sweet corn. Now we're going to give this a good stir, then we'll add the extra water and the seasoning packet. Um, you don't need to buy a seasoning packet, you can put your own spices in. Um, I'm just doing it out of convenience. Um, and again, 150ml of water, you do not need a lot. You do not need a lot of water at all. Um, the more water you add, the more it becomes more like a sloppy joes. Which is great if you want some sloppy joes. Chuck it on a baguette, happy days. Just gonna give this good old mix. Give it a party, give it a disco, you name it. Like a good old 1990s nightclub. Happy days. And then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna cook this, um, let it boil, let it simmer for 15 minutes. So I will see you in a moment. And I'll just turn the temperature down a little bit. But yeah, see you in a sec. Okay, me little cherubs. So, this is almost done. Now, we're just waiting on the rice, uh, really. Um, the rice has got another minute and a half on, so we kind of tried to time it perfect. 
Um, this is just lovely, thick, you can see it there. Um, it really looks amazing. If you've ended up putting too much water in, um, just cook it out, just let it evaporate, let it do its thing, do not worry. Um, Chili is one of these things that an easy mistake can be rectified. So if you've put too much water in, just cook it for another couple of minutes. Um, if you're kind of in a time rush and you're thinking, oh crap, the in-laws are coming over, I need to get this done, there's too much water in. Just keep stirring, just stir, stir, stir. And that will help the water evaporate. So do not worry about it. Um, chili is easy and you can't really mess it up. So yeah, um, the rice is just about done. So I will get over to the table and I will see you in a sec. Okay folks, time to plate it up. Um, as you can see, I've got the chili there. I've also got the rice here in our little um, microwavable steamer. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna plate it up as you would expect. Just get that in there. Now you can fluff this up more if you wish. Um, I'm just being quite lazy, to be honest. I'm just being lazy. So, that's my rice. Sorry about the ting ting bang bang there. And then all I'm gonna do, just gonna use the same thing again. Utensil, let's go in there with our chili. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Happy days. That's enough. And then, as every good chili is around the world, I'm going to add some cheese. I'm just adding a little bit of mozzarella on the top there. Just to make it a little bit of extra creamy and a little bit of extra dimension to the dish. Anyway, I'm going to get you down, give you a closer look, then we'll get into the review. Not much to see on this one, but by jolly, it'll be absolutely delicious. See you in a sec. So, guys and girls... What do you think of that? I know it doesn't look much. Um, hopefully the little B-roll um, showing the pan and stuff is a lot better. But yeah, let's just go in for it. Little bit of rice, little bit of the chili, little bit of the cheese. You can see there, there's a, there's a little bit of a cheese ball. There we have it, still steaming, as you can see there on the camera. But yeah, cheers folks. Oh yeah, ha oh. ha, oh. this is one fat happy lad, I will tell you that for free, get in there, there we have it again, little cheese pull, is it gone, is it gone, nah, I'll help it, I'll help it, I'm being kind, mmm, Yeah, that chili con carne mix from Brownwells really is good. Um, for a lot of years, I'd only use like Coleman's um, and things like that, but really started getting into the Brownwells and Aldi's um, mixers, um, season kits and stuff, and they are fantastic. Let's just give you a little look at that. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I mean, you don't see this on Food Network, do you? You know what I mean? Let's just cut those off. Cheers, folks. Amazing. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. Thank you for joining me on another video. Um, I am going to be looking at more budget-friendly, big comfort food that type of thing 
Um, with what's going on politically within the UK and the winter fuel stuff, um, I think it's just right that I also kind of look at ways of doing big family dishes um, that elderly people and pensioners can kind of put in the freezer or keep in the fridge for a couple of days. Um, so I reckon that's kind of where I might go for a little while. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's October next week. So why not try and do something in the lead up? And then I've got a huge, huge Christmas um, thing coming up. Um, yeah, if you don't like Christmas cooking, then you probably might want to unsubscribe um, for a month or two, but kind of want to lead you up to Christmas and get you excited a little bit. So, yeah, anyway, that's enough for me waffling on. Until next time, adios.